Hi Erin, thanks for the advice on making realistic goals and sticking to them. I think that'll be especially useful for me this quarter as I have a lot of different things going on and I find it hard to make time for anything but the necessities. I did schedule in some time this past weekend to visit Wicker Park, a neighborhood in Chicago, with friends from my house, which proved to be a great way to rest and relax after a hectic fourth week. We spent the late afternoon thrift shopping, I scored some pretty sweet clogs and a necklace, then went to Umami Burger for dinner. I don't know if it's better than Barney's, but it was just what the doctor ordered. Well, maybe not the doctor, but my soul at least. It felt much easier to make good on my goal of taking time for myself and the things I love, exploring cities and spending time with friends definitely being among them, when I blocked out time in my day and treated it as an appointment or a class, something I couldn't miss. This way I made sure that I spent the majority of Saturday doing something I probably would have kept pushing off until the time seemed right. And for those of you worried about having too much work to have fun, i found that the busier I am, read, the less time I have, the more efficient and productive I am when working. And speaking of work, doing extra hours at Jumpstart this week has been great. And though slightly tired now, I was able to double my hours on top of academic work and dance rehearsal commitments. I always think it's a good idea to make the most of the free time you have, but if anyone's going to attempt this, I would advise choosing the weeks for your extra hours very carefully. If I had tried to clock extra hours last week, say when I had two midterms and a paper due, I doubt I would be awake in making this video. Now that I'm working consistently, however, the word taxes has been thrown around a lot. Do I finally need to take another step into adulthood and do my taxes? If I have a work-study job, do taxes affect my income differently? How do you file them? Where do you find the forms? A lot of questions have been racing through my mind, so any advice from someone who's made it through at least a couple years of adulting would be great. One last update. I'll be modeling for Moda, the fashion design magazine on campus, at their annual winter runway. <sighs> I've always wanted to be on Project Runway. But I'm pretty sure this is as close as it's ever going to get. This year, the show will be taking place at the end of February at Morgan Manufacturing in Chicago. It looks like a beautiful venue, so keep watching for more to come. Bye, guys!